what's up guys welcome to uh, not actually my office uh, not the one you're used to uh, this is the office for today uh, one of my places here in southern Denmark I have uh, mr. Eric's hooks with me here today uh, the one and only and uh, I thought I uh, want to pick his brain a little bit maybe if you allow me to yeah, sure. uh, and by that I mean uh, I want to see how uh, one of the pros, one of the old <laughs> dogs, uh, go by a place like this. He has never seen this place before, and uh, I thought I want to take you guys along on the uh, on the ride, and uh, maybe we can uh, learn some tips and tricks from uh, from this old dog here. <laughs> what do you say? You wanna? Yeah, you know, I've been fishing in salt water for more than 30 years uh, with a fly, so it. For sure, you learn a few things down the road. So uh, I have my setup, I have my flies, but uh, then again, I don't think it differs that much from you. And I think you're more maybe more inventive when it comes to flies. I'm maybe maybe a little bit more traditional in my yeah. way of choosing flies. Uh, I do like my shrimps and my bait fish. You know that. Uh, and that who doesn't? Who doesn't? Yeah, like and it works. You know, in in many situations. Yeah. It's always interesting to see a new spot like this. It's uh, it looks really promising. I haven't to be told honest. you anything. No, um, I won't. <laughs> no, I leave that to you and uh, follow you with the camera a little bit, so yeah. uh, so the guys out there can see uh, maybe a little bit about uh, how to to uh, attack, if you can say that, a new yeah. a new a new spot like yeah. this. And uh, hopefully we will run into some fish. Yeah. I have a good I have a good feeling about this place. Um, me too. <laughs> For just what, what I've seen so far, it yeah. looks really, really nice. So, uh, what do you say? Let's. Uh, I'll just follow you, yeah. and you will uh, show let's, me how you. Let's uh, hit the water. I'm. I'm keen. Let's go. Let's follow Martin. Follow the leader. <laughs> oh, leader, leader. <laughs> I don't know. a fish in the surface out here. There's a small point here where, where we're waiting right now. It's uh, it might be it might be uh, a garfish, but then again you never know. You might as well try. You'll be you'll be sad if you don't. very great belief in this spot it's clear water it's uh, there's a lot of weed on the bottom here a lot of stones big stones small stones it is like what we say in Denmark many years ago there was a famous Danish writer Jens Paul Hansen he wrote in his books about leopard button you know like the same coloration as on a leopard and this is uh, this is what it is this is perfect in my in my book. I really like this kind of water. Is that a fish? Might have been. Oh, this is a big stone. Oh, there's one more in the surface there. What's happening here now? Maybe I'm waiting a little bit too deep here since my line basket is just not working. Even though I fished for sea trout for more than 30 years, I still get quite excited when I see a fish on the surface. It's, uh, I think it's a, it's a passion for life, hunting silver in salt water. I think it was the stone, but you never know. Hmm. 
even though it's sunny, it's still pretty cold water actually. It's, it's uh, we're in, in the last week of May now, and it's been a really cold spring. So the fishing in salt water is still very, very good. Oi! What is it? It's a small sea trout. <laughs> it is a sea trout though. It is a sea trout though. <laughs> it is. Nice. Oh, I foul hooked it. <laughs> it's very, very seldom that happens actually. But it's, I'm quite sure it's been after the fly and then I just made a retrieve and just to make sure that it will... I hooked it in the, in the fin here actually. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Mm. So they're here. If the small ones are here and the, and the garfish, there's for sure bigger, bigger fish out there. It might be a little bit too early in the day yet, because we've seen a few fish further out. But, uh, you know, suddenly they're in here as well. I actually believe it's a common misconception that people hate on the garfish. Yeah. And they don't like to fish where the garfish is. No. Uh, but uh, I see it as a positive sign actually because when the garfish are here, they feed on the same thing as the yeah. as the sea trout. So, so if there's garfish, there's definitely sea trout. Yeah. It's it's not a sea trout. It's a it's a oh. <laughs> it's a garfish. But still pretty nice, you know. It it makes me comfortable. I'm doing my stuff right next time it's maybe a sea trout so i don't get annoyed by these guys i think it's just it's a fish it's fun it's a pretty fish yeah, it's beautiful fish whoa <laughs> <laughs> typical you can see this is hooked it's not foul hooked at all it's it's uh it took the fly it took the, the shrimp fly <laughs> as it should so it, it was a it was a feeding fish oh yeah for sure no doubt about it just need to release it now. It's a pretty strong, actually. It's like a eel, an eel. Yeah. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> this was pretty angry. <laughs> I understand why. It, <laughs> it thought it, it ate and shrimp, and then it ate my fly. I understand. And it's you know. This translucent, I call it Moe's shrimp, it's not a, maybe, such an inventive name, but it's, I fished this for many, many years, it's, it's such a good pattern. If you says it's good, it, it it's good. good. <laughs> it works for me, at least. I think, I think actually it's a small school of smaller sea trout out here, I just saw one again now, I think, I think it's, uh, you know, the small ones that just left the river for maybe two months ago or something like that. So it's probably not. Right here it is garfish. I think it's small sea trout actually. Yeah. But we'll try to avoid those small ones. <laughs> they need to grow bigger. No, you're right Morten. It's, it's uh, garfish. If it's a lot of them, there might be a little bit of a nuisance. But in places like this, where you maybe get one in 50 cast, it's not a problem at all. Or maybe just a take. Yeah. It keeps you on the toes. Yeah. So as you, and as you say it's a good it's a good indicator of if they are here, the sea trout are here as well, they eat the same food. Yeah, small sea trout. I yeah. see them, yeah. Maybe they're even being hunted by the by the garfish. Yeah they they might be actually. Not more than more than 15 centimeters, so they're pretty small. It's a good thing to see the small ones. Yeah. Actually, too, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I can believe that's the future here. Next year they're 40 centimeters. You yeah. know that. Maybe even 45. They grow pretty fast. There's a lot of food here. Shrimps and small bait fish. Oh, 
actually walking on a small reef here now. So I think I might walk wait a little deeper here. So do you primarily fish shrimps when you're on a on a new spot like this? Because this is actually not no, waters you're familiar with. This is no, one of true, my it's spots, the but first, it's the first time here. And no, normally I would actually if it's it depends on which time of the year I'm fishing actually. So now we're in late May. I know there's a lot of shrimps out there, so I, I think the sea trout. I don't think they keyed in on one bait but I have a good feeling that I will always eat a shrimp. It was if it was early in the year I would wouldn't mind starting out with a bait fish. Uh, I have a lot of faith in bait fish as well. But that's normally my two go-to patterns. Uh, bait fish and shrimp. Yeah. I, I, I do something sometimes fish a small scot or something like that, but it's I I normally only do that in when it's really cold in the winter. Believe it in every cast here. It's a, it is a, it's nice a really cast. good it spot you really have here. Spot. It's, it's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't lying. No, you weren't. Not at all. I'm quite sure when the light gets a little lower. We're, we're late in the year now for saltwater fishing for sea trout. So yeah, it's it's. I Next think up would be the night fishing and stuff. Yeah, like that. at least you know. Or late evening, yeah, late early, evening, really early morning, and I am not for <laughs> for really early morning. No, fishing. me neither. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer late nights. I prefer late nights. <laughs> so, is there any? Any certain way you uh, you fish your shrimp flies? Do you vary your intake, or is it is it mostly just hit and run? or almost yeah, set? Yeah, uh, uh, I think I'm a little bit old school when it comes to that. I, I just I fish in, I wouldn't say a fast pace, but a, maybe a medium pace. I know a lot of people are fishing really fast these days, but that's most, mostly on bait fish. But on the shrimp, you can actually you can fish slow and you can fish fast if you want to. And even let it hang sometimes and just, yeah. you know. I've heard uh, people say that, let it hang. Yeah, it's. Uh, uh, I think, <laughs> I'm I not like too that. fond of thing that, <laughs> things that hang. But. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're, you're right about that. <laughs> I heard that before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you hear that a lot in uh, the You hear that a lot in. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But not too slow then, just a, a semi fast yeah. pace or. Actually, and, and you know what? I think sometimes you can get a fish by speeding up or slowing down. But yeah. I think I think it's. Uh, I was just getting. I thought I saw a fish out there, but I, f I think it was the wind actually. But uh, you need to keep an eye out all the time. Just the tiniest bump. Yeah, yeah, for sure. A little wave on the water yeah. could be an indicator. No, and I think one more thing actually when it comes to speed and flies, I think the colder the water is, you need, you, the, you slower you fish, and when the water is warmer, you can you can fish pretty quick. Yeah. It's. Uh, I think that's one of the advantages we have with the fly. You can you can fish any speed you like. Yeah. Maybe apart from from high speed, that's maybe difficult. It's a small one out there. Again. Yeah, I saw it. Small bump on the water. It's, uh, we won't cast for those small ones. No. Let them swim. I actually thought this, that was a garfish that I dragged Oh, down. you think so? Okay. I think I saw the beak. Uh, okay. Pretty fish though, yeah, garfish. I like them. I like them a lot. They stink. <laughs> <laughs> they stink. <laughs> they stink. They smell. Yeah. But, oh, oh, that was a stone. <sighs> I'm fish, uh, right now I'm fishing with uh, an interme intermediate line, which is actually yeah. maybe a little bit too 
sinking a little bit too fast for this spot. Yeah. It's pretty, it's okay deep out there, but it's not that deep. So maybe I'll, I'll change to my floating line later. So primarily you fish intermediate lines or yeah, like me? Floating. I, I'm 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 on an intermediate intermediate line 90% of the yeah, time. So me too, actually. It, it's only when it becomes. I like when it. Be, oh no, that was. What's that? that? No, it wasn't a fish. I think it was maybe some weed floating floating around. No, I, I would say that. I like to fish my flies high when it gets when it gets darker. Uh, but yeah, right now it's sense. still. Weird. It's maybe six o'clock or something like that. Yeah. Still very light. I wouldn't mind going a little bit deeper. I kind of think it's better to fish a little higher than too low, actually. Yeah. Yes. I. Yeah. I would agree, actually. But then again, if you if you like, we are two friends out fishing. One can maybe go with a floating line, and the other one with yeah. a with a intermediate line, and one can choose a shrimp, and the other one a bait fish to yeah. see what works that day. Yeah. I think that's a really good tactic to use. That's a good idea. It's uh, I've done that for many years with friends, not doing the same both parties, and just try try different tactics and see what works for the day. Yeah. And I think that's actually a good a, a good thing to do in it's a good all all kinds of fishing. It yeah. doesn't matter if it's salmon in the river. So it's a good it's, tactic. It's. Uh, I usually don't change my flies that much, actually. No, me neither. Actually. Usually, I I take one or two and then I go with them for yeah. the day because I I have a th theory that that if the fish are hungry, they will yeah. Uh, yeah. take just about anything. Yeah, true. But uh, of course, when when they can get a bit picky sometimes. Yeah, but and we have fly ties, you know. Yeah. So we <laughs> we wanna we wanna experiment that and too. try different yeah, flies. Yeah. But sometimes you, the more you fish, the fewer flies you use in your box. But it's still fun to tie yeah. new patterns. Yeah, that's true. Oh. Yeah, I'm not sure. I, I, as I said before, the line is maybe a little bit too fast. It's fast sinking, and it's not deep out there. I can feel there's a lot of but then again, you know, now I know. And next time I wait the same area, I'll use my floating line. Yeah. And I'll I'll fish over the rocks and yeah. not into the rocks. So and the yeah. fish are there between the rocks. You know, there's a lot of bait Definitely. fish, and a lot of shrimps swimming around. Yeah. Between the rocks. So they're they're just basically cruising around and yeah, and you, you know, the, and it's the bait. You know, it's it's a, using a little bit too fast sinking line. It's always a a way to learn how the bottom looks like out yeah. there yeah so it's uh, you just memorize <laughs> spots like this look behind you and see okay yeah. that was that tree yeah. and maybe that big rock in there and you know there's more rocks out there and then yeah. with the floating line you fish it again and try and see if, if it works yeah that makes sense well, I know this spot you don't yeah, you, so know, yeah, exactly. you don't and I haven't told you anything no, so, no, no. so uh, this is <laughs> you know it all <laughs> I'm Almost. Just... You're on your own here, mate. Yeah, I know, I know. Except for the room. Except for the room, yeah. I'll share that with you. <laughs> yeah, okay, let's go for the room. Let's go for the room. And wait, wait it out. Wait it out. It. Yeah. I found a star in you Always guiding me to where my words are true I've waited a million years before And I'd do it all again just to make sure Yeah, it's hard to be It's hard to be this real it's a really great idea, Mon. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> to get some food and get some food and a glass of rum and a glass of rum. Get the spirits back up. Yeah. Not that they need to. You caught a few fish over there. Yeah. 
I got a really decent gaffer right around the corner over there. Yeah, I think there's quite a lot of gaffers <clears throat> right now actually. Yeah. But as we talked about earlier, it, for me it doesn't really matter because if they're here, there's, there's uh, food here as well for yeah. for both garfish and sea trout. Yeah, so it's the same. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think we're in the right spot. Yeah, me too. So your setup. What do you uh, what do you fish? Yeah, as I mentioned earlier on, I I I started out with my uh, my uh, intermediate line or slow sinking line, you could say. Mm -hmm. It was a scientific angler's Volantis camouflage. I would like to try the new one. Yeah, the new one. I, I think it was sinking a little bit too deep here, actually, to because it's a little bit too shallow for that line. Yeah. Uh, so I might have a few snacks in in the bottom, but then again, it's also a way of you, it's a new spot to me. So it's also a way yeah. of trying to know how this spot is and if there's some deep holes and all that. And I actually noticed a few places where I didn't get any uh, snacks in the bottom or anything like that. So I know now there's a, some smaller, deeper holes there, yeah. which is a good thing to know. But so I think would now... You, would I you then take, when you have uh, found out that there are a few rocks where mm. you could snag your fly, mm. would you then uh, change the, the line or the, the setup and then go over the same yeah. spot again, yeah. Yeah. just to yeah. make sure that yeah. there isn't yeah. any... So I Fish think uh, either I would go for the an intermediate line, which is slow, slow sinking line or something like that, mm -hmm. or go di maybe wait, use the uh, uh, the floating line instead. Yeah. I think it now we're getting. It's not late still, but it's getting late in the day, and I think I'd rather have a fly fishing pretty high in the water column. So yeah. I think I'll go for the floating line right now. And that's a class. This is six weight. Yeah. I've been using six weights for the last, I don't know, ten years or something like that. Tried a five weight early on, but I think in Denmark where you have windy conditions, quite often, I think you you're better off with the six weight. It's yeah. more powerful, and especially the new ones, you know, the new saltwater rods coming out. Yeah. They're really nice in six weight actually, and not they're not too powerful for the Danish sea trout either. Oh, yeah. I prefer the Scott Sector, which I think is probably one of the best rods, in my opinion, out there for saltwater fishing. Yeah, it's expensive, but it's a fantastic rod. It's equally powerful to cast. Get, sometimes we do get what you pay for. Yeah, actually. it's it's very powerful rod, but at the same time, it's still got feeling. So I yeah. really like that. Yeah, I mean, I've I've been fishing an old G Loomis. Yeah, um, but also a six weight and. Almost ninety percent of the time, I fish intermediate lines. You're getting quite. Why, why did you're you getting put quite a bit of smoke there? <laughs> you did that on purpose. Uh, maybe. <laughs> I was holding it earlier. My eyes are burning <laughs> like hell. <laughs> so, floating line, shrimp patterns. I think yeah. still. Yeah. I'll stick with my intermediate. Yeah. And maybe maybe switch to a bait fish. Mm. As you mentioned, it's mm. always good to have two different, different, different setups. styles of, yeah. of setup or at least bait. Mm. I agree. Oh, this is really good. This is so good. Get the spirit back up. Yeah. Get some it's warmth. a lot of casting when you Why fish. Why is it burning? It's only smoking. I don't know. <laughs> not not much spare grills over you and me, that's for sure. No. Uh, no, <laughs> oh no, it's coming. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. No, it's, you know, when you fish salt water in Denmark, some days. Maybe maybe get just a few bites in six seven hours of fishing. You need need to sit down now and then and just relax yeah. and take it easy because otherwise you just wear yourself out and it's not fun anymore. It should be fun. 
I agree. I agree, and you can fish hard, like some people, a lot of people do in Denmark, drive to different spots, try them out, fish yeah, like really five or far. Six spots yeah, in a day. and you can do that, and you probably catch more fish than the two of us. But then again, we have a lot of fun with this as well, and maybe not. <laughs> yes, definitely something to talk about. Yeah. <laughs> Did you catch anything? No. no. But we did burn our eyes out. Yeah. Normally we would move, but uh, as the camera has to stand right there. The things we do for the YouTube. You say we should wait it out, you know? Wait it out. Get some smoke in your eyes. <laughs> it's not too bad. Too bad. Yeah. Maybe get this up a little bit higher here. Yeah. Ah. Mm. Here we go. Or not. Maybe not. Oh, it's okay. I think it's better now at least. Sorry, I think there's ketchup in your fly box. It doesn't matter, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll auction it on uh, eBay. <laughs> the hook father, the king of hooks, nah. has spilled his ketchup on my fly case. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for taking me to one of your favorite spots. Mm. I can understand why it's one of your favorite spots. It is a really, really it's good beautiful. Spot. It's beautiful. Uh, and that's fish out there. It's a bit sure. quiet, but uh, yeah, still. it seems like we're getting quite the sunset today. Yeah, it's beautiful. And everything is getting green around us. It is spring in Denmark, even though it's been a cold one. <laughs> Are you struggling? <laughs> the smoke is killing me, man. <laughs> I was thinking earlier, it's maybe maybe it's a little bit too early in the season for this kind of. This is actually what I like to do the most when I when I'm out uh, when I'm out alone. I not I'm not always lighting a fire, but um, I do like to uh, go onto shore and just yeah. wait it out. Maybe take a nap. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I get it. Because I don't I don't I really don't like driving to five or six spots. It's just too oh. stressful somehow. Yeah. And sometimes you have high hopes for the next spot and you get there and there are already anglers in the mm. water. And then you just, I hate wasting my time. Yeah. So if you drive, oops, sorry, drive for 30 minutes to the next spot, mm. you get down there and there are three other anglers in the water. I won't, I won't even get out of the Yeah, car. and I think, I don't, I think it's a kind of a mind. I thought I don't like the people. No, no. It's just, you know, there are already three anglers in the water and then, uh, What's the what's the point of, yeah. of jumping into the into the ocean with them? Yeah, and I think both you and I are fishing a little bit the same way. I th I, for me, it's not really about catching Slow as pace. many fish as possible. It's it's just being out and have a great day with friends, yeah. uh, two, maybe one or two friends. It's it's that's more important for me. Yeah. Do I get some a few fish? I'm really happy about that. If I don't, it's perfectly fine. And. Uh, and with time, when you know your spots really well, like you do, you know you will get your fish here. Yeah. It, it, it's, uh, and I have my spots in, in my area where, where I know, yeah, I know the spot rock for rock almost, so I can say, okay, now I'm in a, in a zone where I normally get a fish, and then you're very focused and you probably get one and all that. So it's, yeah. it's, uh, yeah, and it's I super mean, important to enjoy yourself. probably four miles of great uh, yeah. coast, in that direction, yeah. and that direction, I just know this spot. Uh, yeah. There's something, something magical about it. Yeah, I, I agree. Out here, um, and and over the years, I've then just, I walk straight past a seemingly perfect spot mm. just to get over here and just yeah. to wait it out yeah. because I know at some point the fish will yeah. uh, come in and start to feed. Maybe we're <coughs> a little bit too early on the season. Um, we'll find out. Yeah, you'll see before this day is over. Yeah. Anyway, so I'm ready to do give it a last shot. Full, full and ready. Full and ready. 
Cheers, Martin. Cheers. Thanks. Back to uh, the both of us get a fish above the two kilo mark, two kilos. Yeah, six, maybe a sixty, bit more. sixty centimeters, something yeah. like that. That's yeah. uh, two of them. That's, that's very, very rare, to be yeah. honest. It's uh, and we got two smaller ones as well, about between forty and fifty, which yeah. are in an, on a normal day that would alone would be great. Yeah, but for sure. Two sixty plus is uh, amazing, really. Really, really good. Mine was slightly longer than yours. Yes. Mine was thicker than you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. no it's, it was two, two very beautiful fish, actually. Yeah, indeed, indeed. So, can't complain. So, to conclude, the thing that worked in the end was uh, your floating line. Yeah, and I got and all. The yeah, all three of them were, were on the ship, on the shrimp, yeah. uh, most shrimp, actually. Yeah. I don't fish anything else, so that's. Maybe mine actually three. took it. Mine, although I, I fish almost eighty percent of the time with a shrimp, um, it, mine actually took a uh, bait fish. Yeah. Inspired by Nacho Hero Hero Hero. Hero Hero. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Nacho. 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 Yeah. Nacho. The. Uh, we love his flies. We They're do good. love his flies. Yeah. Very good. There is a tutorial on that on my channel actually. Oh, they are. Yeah. It's not quite as good as his, but uh, it will do. It did yeah. the trick today. Yeah, so. It did. But what a fantastic place here. It's uh, beautiful. Yeah. I'll be back here for sure. You shall be most welcome. Yeah. It's uh, for the cost of uh, some bread and uh, <laughs> a few sausages. Oh, you brought the rum, you know. <laughs> I can't complain. I don't mind driving down here to the That's area. a good thing about Denmark, right? You can get from one end to yeah, the other yeah. in just about 4 hours. Yeah, yeah. It's true. True. So, very easy to get around. Yeah. Perfect day. Perfect day. Right, so thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you like this video, please do, please do give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to my channel and also the YouTube channel of Eric Hooks. They have a lot of great content. Uh, fly tying uh, tutorials mostly. Oh, almost, you, almost only. Almost only, but, yeah, but uh, very, very that's uh, what high we do. quality content. So thank you. Follow both and uh, we will see you guys. And we are getting smoked. <laughs> Next time, hopefully a little less smoke. Yeah. Uh, maybe I should come no, visit you okay. in your, uh, no, it's, in it's your home water so next good. time. Yeah, you should. We'll do that. Yeah, Maya fuel. Maya fuel. That's different. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Thanks. I have this thing, you know. Okay. No, no I don't know. <laughs> 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 <And> this thing. <laughs>